There's two. I can't get any closer on it. That's as close as I can get. My zoom is all the way out. Really right behind of it. The uh, ball. You see the ball light beside it? Yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, what the heck is that? Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Shiny white tiny dots in the sky. Some people off camera said they saw them form triangles and a line. On our camera, it seemed as if they didn't move at all. The FAA didn't have a comment on what these dots could be, nor had said they're not tracking any abnormalities at this time. But yesterday, a TV station in Utah reported very similar white dots appearing in the sky over Utah. At around 10 a.m., a fireball over Flagstaff. The National Weather Service caught the smoke trail on its webcam. It literally looked like there was just fire, like just randomly in the sky. The American Meteor Society had 10 eyewitness reports. They tracked them all, plotted them, and found the meteor probably came over the Navajo Reservation right at Flagstaff and in broad daylight. Maybe it sounds like crazy talk, but this was real. NASA confirms what many of you saw was indeed a meteor. The object was actually seen as far away as El Paso and maybe all the way up into Las Vegas. People got an early jump on the day when a 3.6 magnitude quake rattled the valley. Scientists are really interested in this quake because they say it happened on a fault that is not recognized by the U.S. Geological Survey. Powerful typhoon is pummeling Japan tonight and is currently bearing down on Tokyo. High surf slammed the coast of Japan as typhoon Fan Fon dumped heavy rain and packed powerful winds of up to 90 miles an hour. Thousands of homes reduced to rubble. Troops have been deployed to bring relief to Yunnan province in southwestern China. The shallow quake has forced more than 100,000 people from their homes. strike has killed at least 11 people near the town of Guanchaca in the Sierra Nevada mountains of Colombia. Local authorities say they are treating about 19 other indigenous people for burn wounds after the lightning bolt hit during a religious ceremony. Well, 
get that. Got it. You got it, I'll slow down. And it goes straight across there, look at it. Why? Go on, mate. Walk it out. A 57-year-old man has died in Italy after flash floods hit the port city of Genoa. One of the city's biggest rivers, the Bisagno, burst its banks overnight, sending floodwaters sweeping through the streets. are coming in from communities around the peninsula that their coals and harbors too have been invaded with the same substance which seems now to be a living organism. When the crystallite sac or egg is examined one can see there is a living species inside. Police are still working to identify the species but as yet they have no answers nor do the fisher folk. I've been fishing over 20 years now and this species we've never uh, experienced it before. We've been fishing offshore, the waters off there we've never noticed it and all of a sudden it just shows up in our harbor and no one can figure out what it is. Powerful cyclone lashed a large portion of India's eastern seaboard with torrential rains and strong winds on Sunday. Packing up to 112 mile per hour winds, Cyclone Hudhud uprooted trees, snapped power cables, killing at least 12 people and causing major damage to buildings and crops. At least 400,000 people were evacuated from the coastal regions of Andhra Pradesh and Orissa states. storm part spectacle, a once in a century event. It was a brutal display of mother nature at her most ferocious. It had everything, torrential rain, cyclonic winds, lightning, even snow. The Blue Mountains west of Sydney was covered in it, not a dusting but 15 to 20 centimetres. Almost a year to the day since bushfires ripped through the area. Thousands of homes were plunged into darkness as power across the city cut out. Traffic in and out of Sydney was thrown into chaos. Oh my God! 
It's a high-flying horror becoming far too common. A bounce house filled with children inside taking flight. Now it's happened again, this time at what should have been a fun fall festival at a New Hampshire From fall. Alabama to the Carolinas, a massive storm system packing high winds and heavy rain pushed its way across the southeast today. It spawned two tornadoes in the metro Atlanta area. This storm spread 800 miles across more than a dozen states. At least 10 tornadoes have been confirmed and hundreds of severe weather reports. Monday afternoon, radar began to pick up on a feature described as debris by National Weather Service meteorologists. The most logical answer would have to be that it's some type of meteor that some, for some odd reason we did not see, but it somehow entered our skies and exploded in the, in the uh, atmosphere. Olha só a força do vento! Rescue operations have been halted overnight for trekkers still missing after an unseasonal blizzard and avalanche struck a popular Himalayan trail. The freak heavy snowfall during peak season caught trekkers and their guides off guard. It's thought to be linked to Cyclone Hudhud, which passed through India earlier in the week.
flash flood in the Canary Islands. Local media say five people died after two and a half hours of heavy rain on the islands of Tenerife and La Gomera. Ravines turned into rivers and several streets, houses and garages were flooded. One woman reportedly died of a heart attack as she was washed away by a torrent of water. has brought dramatic temperature drops to the northern regions. North China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region and northeastern provinces of Heilongjiang and Jilin are seeing falls up to 20 degrees Celsius. Struck right during lunch hour in Longview, Washington. More than a mile long path of destruction, dozens of trees down. It was incredibly rare. This county in Washington has recorded just three tornadoes in the last 60 years. The surface of the sun in the past week now, six massive flares. We saw basically over the last few days these huge solar flares, one after another, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. been mayhem trying to get anywhere across Melbourne this morning after a fierce lightning storm. It created a spectacular display of lightning across the city. There was flash flooding in a number of areas across Melbourne. A huge landslide has torn through a village in central Sri Lanka, killing around 100 people. More than 140 houses were buried in the mud and debris. The landslide is at least three kilometres long and was triggered by monsoonal rain. No! 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 no, no.
slow-moving lava from the continuously erupting Kilauea volcano has been advancing on the town of Pahoa for weeks, threatened to consume its first home. Costa Rica's Churilba volcano had its most powerful eruption in more than a century on Thursday. Volcanologists warn of more eruptions to come. Halloween night across much of the country. 40 million living in places under a freeze watch or warning right now. And snow already in the upper Midwest, up to eight inches in parts of Wisconsin and Michigan. In Chicago, the waves are so big on Lake Michigan, they flooded Lakeshore Drive. The worst flooding on Lakeshore Drive since 1987.